Welcome back to my Let's Play world where we have been building up this Cherry Grove Valley. Today we are going to have a bit of a chill farming episode and we're also going to build a barn for our pink sheep and I guess the, the rest of the sheep as well and the cows and yeah we're going to get them a nice home set up. Finally they've been living in this little pen for way too long and to get started we need to figure out where we want to actually put this little sheep barn and there's so much space in this valley that we haven't used yet there's all of this area over here that we've not got to I've mentioned before I have plans for down there so we're going to keep that area clear for now but I'm also planning on covering up all of these caves anyway so that we can eventually let the sniffers free roam around this whole valley so I'm kind of thinking that this area over here might be quite good place for our sheep barn but we need to cover up the big cave first. So we're going to start with a bit of terraforming, I think. I think this is going to be the perfect place for us to build our little animal barn. Now we just have to figure out a layout for this and I'm going to go with a kind of similar style to the sniffer barn over there. So I want to make sure that this is big enough for all of the animals that we have. And I've also seen a whole bunch of rabbits around in the cherry blossom area so we might even try and get some rabbits into this area. Maybe they can fit in the barn with the other animals. I would love to try and collect some of the rabbits up as well from this area. I can't see any now. There's def they're definitely everywhere and they're just, now they're just hiding. And I want to keep it quite simple. We're going with the same color palette that we have on the sniffer barn over there. Just lots of wood and some moss for the roof. And I want them to have kind of an outside area as well. So we're going to have these openings in the side so that we can have kind of a little penned in area on the outside as well. And they can kind of go back and forth on the inside and the outside, which I think will be really nice. So there's our basic shape that's definitely looking good, definitely looking barny and it's very much big enough for all of our animals. We've got two sides going on here but it definitely just needs a lot more detailing. So I think I got a tiny bit carried away with the decorating and the detailing of this barn but I am also really happy with how it turned out. I think it really fits the vibe of um, a, a, an animal barn and we've got these little areas on both sides. So there's a pen on this side and there's a pen on this side and they both have outside areas so we're going to put sheep in one and cows in the other. They've got some windows, they've got some water, they've got some hay. It's just all really cozy in here and even like detailed the ceiling. I definitely just went way overboard with this, but it looks really good, I think. And I'm very happy with it. And the outside looks cute as well. And I've started putting the path in, but I need to finish connecting up that path as well and fixing the creeper holes that we have going on here. But let's bring the animals over first and finally get them into some much more spacious enclosures than these tiny little box enclosures that they're in up here right now. Would you like to come to your brand new home? I'm sure that you would love that. And here we go. Here's your brand new home. Follow me inside. Oh, there's so much space for them in here. These enclosures are actually way bigger than I thought they were. And we can start breeding you up. Get some more sheep babies. Another pink sheep. No, nope, you stay in there. Oh, oh wait. No, no, no. I didn't think about that. Okay, uh, my bad. Um, I forgot. I forgot that that was a thing. 
Come over here. Come on. Come back in. We'll just move it over. It's fine. Oh, I've just got rid of... Where's my... Have I got my bucket? Yeah, I've got a bucket. Okay. Before we bring the cows over, let's move this one so that they can't escape. There we go. Okay. Time to come with me. There's... Oh, there's quite a lot of you, isn't there? Oh, no. We seem to have lost a few cows on the way over here. That's... Uh, what a shame. I wonder what could have... Where they could have gone. In you come to your new enclosure. And we have all of our animals moved over into their new homes. Take a look from up on the tree. Yeah, look, they look so cute in their little homes. We haven't got any space for the rabbits, so I might, maybe I'll find somewhere else for the rabbits to go. I was thinking they might fit in here as well, but it doesn't look like they will. Now I do want to finish off the paths that are joining everything together, but we're running really very low on rooted dirt. We only have 16 left, so I think... What we're going to do is go on a bit of an adventure to go find a lush cave. I'm actually going to head back over to the desert area. It's probably not the closest lush cave, but I know that there are just dozens of azalea trees throughout the desert because you can see them because there's no other trees. There's a bunny rabbit. There's where you've gone. I just realized that I forgot to bring a shovel, which is kind of like the entire point of going because we want to get rooted dirt. But I've just found three bits of raw iron. So we will quickly smelt up uh, some iron and just make a shovel here because I don't want to go all the way home. Mining and crafting, resourcefulness. This is what Minecraft is all about. Making a shovel out of random iron that you found because you left your shovel at home and you don't want to have to go all the way home because you're on an adventure. I'm getting quite familiar with this back and forth journey to the desert now because I've done it a bunch of times. Like we went to get more sand, we went to explore and find sniffer eggs. It's kind of just this huge ocean that goes from sort of close to our base, not close enough for a chess boat before anyone says, use a chess boat, because my base is not near the water, so chess boats are not actually helpful. But it goes almost to my base, and then it goes all the way across to the desert, and it's actually really easy to just boat our way across in the rain, peaceful journey across the water. Oh, I forgot there was also a mesa over here. I'm going to grab some more terracotta, actually, because we're totally out of white terracotta as well. Two stacks of terracotta should be plenty, and we have our bone meal farm back at home now, so we should be able to just get some dye to turn it into white terracotta super easily. Plus, then, if we want to use any other colours, we just have regular terracotta, and we can use it for anything else that we want to use it for as well. This part of the journey is definitely less chill than the boat journey it's a little bit tedious to have to run across all of the sand the desert maybe we should think about getting some elytra soon go fight the dragon and head out to the end and see if we can grab ourselves an elytra definitely coming up let me know what you think in the comments do you want me to go and fight the dragon or are you enjoying the nice chill pace that we're taking it at so far here it is the holy grail of azalea trees they are everywhere i don't know that i figured out how far how like wide these azalea areas cover because they always seem to spread out so kind of far in each direction i think it's about three blocks in each direction from the tree does rooted dirt not go through sandstone that thing oh maybe you don't get rooted dirt in sandstone at all that's very upsetting oh Oh, no, 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I guess we hit a cave. Well, that's not fun. Let me make... Oh, oh, are you kidding me? We're just like in a ravine. We could... Oh my goodness. <laughs> we could have just... Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're, we're just... We need to collect rooted dirt. It's fine. That's what we're here for. Oh, there's another creeper. No, go away. Maybe we'll go in this cave. I could do with collecting up some drip leaves, to be honest. And maybe some spore blossoms if we can find them. Because we have a moss farm now, which is really good. So we can get moss and everything else that... No, no, creeper. Oh my goodness. We can get moss and everything else that comes out of bone mealing moss. So all the like azaleas and um, moss carpet and all of those things. But we can't get drip leaf and we can't get spore blossoms. Oh my gosh, there's so... Many creepers! Is this a good idea? This might be a really terrible idea. I'm just running around trying to light it up. This is a huge cave. Look at those really tall drip leaves. What are they doing? Why are they growing like that? Uh, and now the spiders are coming. Look at them. 
like a whole trail of them. Oh, are they getting stuck on something? That's just a terrible shame. Oh my goodness, look at this cave! So I have two stacks of rooted dirt now as well, which I think is probably plenty for what we need. Um, we There's still loads left, but we can just definitely come back here. Now I think I'm going to get some of the dripstone from out here in the daylight, so that we don't have to risk the mob. Oh no, I didn't bring my shears with me. Wait, there's iron there. Let's do some more crafting on the go. This is good, this is good. Find ourselves, oh, there's some small drip leaf. Yep, got it, we got it. We got some small drip leaf. If we want any more than three small drip leaf, we are gonna have to go back to the cave. And if we want any spore blossoms, which I would quite like some spore blossoms too. I think it's time we have to brave the cave. My question is how do we get down there? I don't even know how well this is gonna, you're gonna be able to see this, but this is a huge lush cave. We could just do this. We definitely, we could just, we could just head down the, there like this, right? Oh, we're doing it. Let's just go. Ah! Oh, get me some torches down. Oh no, there's a, oh no, there's, that was a terrible idea. This was a terrible idea. Why did I do this? Who, who did I, whose idea was this? It was, yeah, it was my idea. I know. Ah, creating first. Ah! Oh, jump, 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 jump. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. The creepers are coming. The creepers are coming. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. This, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This was just an all round terrible idea. Just, I just have to keep moving. It's a good little place to, 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 <laughs> to breathe. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a lot of Endermen in here as well. I almost just looked at one of them. There are so many Endermen. Why are there so many Endermen down here? So there's my boat being guarded by a creeper. Oh, and another creeper. I'm going to need that boat back. This may have been a bad... I might have been hit a few too many times, but we're alive. We're okay for now. There are so many spore blossoms. I want them all. Okay, this part of the area is much better lit up, so nothing's really spawned over here because all of the glowberries have kept it lit. And there's a bunch of spore blossoms. So we're gonna collect up some spore blossoms over here and see if we can find a few more small drip leaf. We've only got nine, that's still not very many. I'm just following the trails of the little particle effect and trying to use those to find, find the spore blossom. Oh no, I dropped a spore blossom. Okay, I mean, I think that was all of the ones that I could see here. And I do need to get back down to my boat there. So I feel like we've already tempted fate plenty in this cave, but we're going to just tempt a little bit more. Okay, okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, no. It seems like this area that I lit up has is fairly safe now to run around in. So I'm going to go collect up all of the, the rest of the small drip leaves as many as I can find in this area. Okay, the creepers are closing in, so I think it might be about time for us to head out of this cave and uh, just head home. We've got a whole bunch of things that we needed. We've got rooted dirt that we needed. We've got terracotta. We've got small drip leaf and spore blossoms. This has been very successful. Now I just need to get out of this cave somehow. What is, where is the way out? I might just have to dig my way back up to the surface. Um, I am back with all of my loot and this was supposed to be a more chill episode just doing things around in the base and that was definitely not chill. So let's get back to some more calm, let's finish doing some of the paths around this area. So we need to connect up the barn here to the main path up here. I'm actually going to take this bit of the path out as well. We need to, I'm going to figure out a better way to join all of this up. Okay, I know that this is a creeper hole, but I do want to bring the river over here. I want to kind of bring this down and like around the edge here maybe. And I think I want it to kind of come down and, and flow down into the middle down there. So maybe this is a good spot actually for the river to, to wind round through. So we are going to need to build up kind of the edge of, hmm, what are we going to do with this bit of floor? Um, 
we don't want the river to go down uh, down there into the mines for hopefully obvious reasons. And we are, we're going to put a bridge in here somewhere. And then maybe we leave this here. Maybe this is like the old path that's kind of sunk down over time and been overrun by the river. And then we'll we'll build a bridge over it that's like the new path. So as you're coming down here, there'll be a bridge across here. Not really sure if that makes sense. And then it's going to come down here and it's going to fall down into this part of the valley over here, which I think is kind of the lowest point of the valley. So it sort of makes sense for all of the rivers, all of these rivers coming down from the mountains, which are really cool, by the way, they look awesome. But I think it makes sense for them to all come down to the middle here. And we also need to join the greenhouse up as well. This needs a pathway to link up. any texturing yet because I'm just trying to figure out if this is the right sort of layout for these paths but I think that this is working we've got this kind of like circle square area here and then the main path is coming down here and into this middle area and then it will eventually go off in this direction towards where the big structure is going to go down there and then we have these other like all of the newer buildings that have been added to the valley have these newer, slightly more natural paths that are coming off of the main path. I'm mostly just trying to decide if this is like a big enough size for a, a central square sort of like plaza area, I guess. And maybe we'll put like a pagoda here. And we also need to get some texturing in here as well. And of course the rooted dirt that we went on such a long journey for. Okay, I think this is looking good now. I really like this idea of this central square, circle, whatever we want to call it, area. And I definitely think a pagoda will be good here as well, as well as some proper bridges. These are just temporary, but I need to have a proper, like, think about how I want these to look. I haven't really thought about it yet. I need to kind of plan this a bit better so that we don't just, like, mess it up with something. Okay, getting a more bird's eye view from up on the hillside here and I think this is looking really nice now. I really like how everything is kind of coming in together. I love the river. I think the, the colour of the water in the cherry grove is just, it's so pretty and I think it, like it stands out so nicely against the pink. And I also just really love how all of the paths kind of come in together into this like middle section here. I think that, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is all turning out. This does definitely all still need lighting up though. Um, I will, at some point I will go around with my moss carpet and my torches and I will light up all of that area, but I, I'll probably do it off camera because that's probably a bit boring for you guys to watch. The other thing that I want to build is I want to put some crop fields back in. We had starter farms here that I took out because I was planning to build here, but I actually just think that this might be a really good place to put um, some crop fields back in. Just like frame them out here. And I saw this idea of using leaves to make walls and I think it looks really cute for like a farm area. So we're going to use the leaves to sort of like line the edges of the crop area. And we'll have a path going straight through the middle to join up like either side of the other paths and I think I'm just going to leave this as path blocks actually because it's kind of like less used I guess. Um, it will just run through the middle of the field. And then I think I'm going to have the water running in kind of channels. We've got this river just over here. Yeah and I think we can join this up and I think this will look really good. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And then we can have another one. Let me, uh, how many blocks is this across? Maybe 
maybe uh, three here. I'm gonna go with jungle trapdoors, I think, because they've kind of got a bit of a pink tint to them and it matches with, definitely with the mud block and it kind of just matches with the pink tone in general because it's got this like pink undertone to it, I guess. So we we'll use those. I think they look really good here. And then we just need to get a bunch of props in here. So we definitely need a bunch of wheat in here. I want to get this to be kind of patchworky so it's very colourful. We definitely want lots of carrots in here because we have all of the rabbits in this area that we want to try to collect up and lure in. And then of course we need some potatoes in here and then lastly we're going to go with beetroot because it does have a really nice colour to it actually and I think that it will just add to the colourful patchworky look here. Once all of this grows up, I think it's going to look really nice and kind of colourful and varied. Since we are going to have the sniffers free roaming around the valley at some point, um, I'm going to just like put some fence gates along the top here to kind of make this sniffer proof. I'm going to have to make sure I sniffer proof everything before we let them loose. And I'm thinking we have maybe like a leaf arch going on here. I'm kind of trying to follow the shape for a circle but I'm used to doing it like flat on the ground and I'm now doing it sort of sideways sticking out of the ground so that's really difficult and right this is this is the middle right I think this is yeah this is the middle let's uh let's go take a look from the side that is definitely not the middle how did I how did I get that so off the middle I thought I thought I was spot on no okay there we go that's in the center I think that looks good I think I'll also put one on each end, um, yeah, like one in the middle there and then one on each end here and over there. And this one is so much easier to, to build again because I can just follow across for where that one is, it's like a pattern. I think we should join these up along in the middle as well, just to kind of give this a bit more support, a bit more structure. But it doesn't look like it's going to just blow over at any minute, which it kind of does. And a little bit of lighting. We definitely want this crop field to be mob proofed. And there we go. There is our crop field. Uh, I think it looks really cute. I'm super happy with how that turned out. I kind of had a bit of an idea and I just sort of like went with it and started building. And I, I really like how leaves look as part of like a fence. I think that it helps kind of blend this in and feel really natural and sort of like a part of the environment and fits. I might do some more of these actually around further down in the valley maybe. I'm sure there'll be some space. I think a few more of these sort of dotted around in here will look really good. And we should definitely grab some bone meal and just kind of go around on the edges and make this feel like it blends in more with the surroundings. I wish I I wish that the bone meal in the cherry grove gave us more flowers. Like oh that one gave us flowers. But like Okay, that one. That one didn't give us any flowers. I, I wish that it gave us more flowers when we bone milled because it doesn't seem like enough. Give me flowers, please. There we go. I do also need to finish up this bit of the pathway that leads all the way up to the entrance of the valley up here. So this here, this is the, this is the only entrance into the valley actually between kind of the mountains. So we're going to have a wall here, like a gatehouse here, and the pathway will come all the way up and okay i'm getting carried away building this path um it doesn't need to go any further than this for now but i kind of want to put a marker in for where the wall is gonna go i like i know where i think i want it but i think getting a marker in will be good Okay, yeah, that's where the wall is going to go. And then this is where the kind of gate entrance will be. This is a bit awkward. Like it's three wide, but it's three diagonal. And like, it's just, this is way too close. This, this drops off like way too quickly. I don't, I want to like come through the gate here and not just immediately go down. So I need to like bring this a bit further out, I, I think. Yeah, let's move this a bit. That's it. I have to stop. I'm going to end up just like tweaking this one spot over and over. I, I'll, we'll come back to this. We will do like a full episode on this wall and like a gatehouse and maybe a tower and kind of like all of that like sort of defensive things that we're going to need up here for the entrance. Let's try and get 
I'm trying to get a better view and the problem with being in a valley is just that if I go to the middle to like take a look around we're just we're low we're below everything which makes it really difficult to like look around from the middle okay I back up on the hill to get a better look of the wall I think yeah this is definitely gonna look good once we get a wall in place and the path is nice and it's kind of all joining up to everything now which is looking really good even these temporary bridges but yeah the crops everything is looking joined up the crop field this is just looking nice our barn is looking good i'm really happy with that and we also did like a whole bunch of exploring in this episode which also was good we're going to definitely build more of these crop fields all around in the valley but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this mostly chill episode with the farming and the barn for our pink sheep finally. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.